Hello, apologies for the froggy voice. I have what one would call a man flu. I have a cold, uh, feeling quite groggy. I was supposed to be doing some announcement on a particular course that I'm, I'm, I'm doing, but uh, that will have to wait, unfortunately, until I can get my voice back. I can't really talk for a prolonged period of time. Uh, so I want to use this as an opportunity to talk about health when you are a freelancer, when you're a web developer and, and so forth because there are some differences of course when you are freelance um, because health is, is such, is such a, a, a large thing because if you're not healthy then you can't do the work. I also think that stress has also um, contributed to this, I believe. Um, I, there are certain things that have sort of stressed me out recently, uh, just normal sort of business -y type um, life. <laughs> and also being around people who have colds. Um, and when you are a freelancer, you have to really look after your health because you don't get sick pay. You, there is no time that you can spend at home in your bed to recover because freelance is all about working for oneself uh, unless you're unless you plan to have a cold and and the plan to to be off sick and actually you know save money for all that stuff um, then you're and nobody does nobody 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 plans to be sick now obviously there are things that you can put in place like insurance and stuff that if you were to get a, a serious cold or illness or, or whatever then you can use those funds and also with things like mortgages and other loans and all that stuff that you can get insurance for those kind of things as well this is a this is a head cold it's a throaty kind of thing it's not that severe however i do have uh, my own health uh, issues anyway, so one would um, think that that kind of insurance is a, is, is a good idea for perhaps future uh, times. Um, but when you're a freelancer, like I said, this is something that you just kind of put off. Um, luckily, I'm a remote developer, so luckily I get to I get to work uh, from home, which means that I can. Uh, well, my bedroom is like literally half a meter down the corridor um, so if I felt really rough and I just wanted to lay down I can do that uh, which is fantastic and I have I have been doing that um, so yesterday I was on a conference call with like four other people um, and it was a very uh, complicated talk we were talking about some really complicated infrastructure issues and after that, I hadn't had my lunch. Um, so after that call, I just kind of rested my eyes for half an hour and just sort of, you know, cleared my head because it was very complicated. And also the talking I found really difficult. Of course, you can't do that. You can't just lay down and go to sleep for half an hour when you're when you're in a full time position. So so it is it is swings and roundabouts. You know there are benefits and negatives. Of course, when you're a freelancer, um, you there, there's a lot of stress involved. I feel because when you're not working because you're sick, you get stressed because you're not working, and it's like a a vicious recursive circle. It's like a circular reference uh, issue in programming where where you're, you're becoming stressed because you're not fit enough to work and therefore you're, you're, because of your stress you are getting more sick and ugh, and that is, a, that is a, an awful, awful place to go. Certainly not there yet, definitely, definitely not. This is like, this is like the second day of, or third day of just feeling generally snotty. Um, but it's something that you kind of have to recognise and nip it in the bud, right? Because, like, I think, I think illness is, is something where you can kind of like um, be okay, and then suddenly it can take a nosedive. So you have to kind of like plan to get better. You don't. You obviously don't plan to get sick, but you plan to get better, right? So the things that I've been doing is I've antibacterial wiped 
the screens because I'm now just a sneezing machine and um, taking sort of busy vit sort of vitamin drinks and stuff and vitamins and trying to get some sleep um, uh, early nights and all that stuff uh, I've also been taking uh, or I have um, well, I'm a whiskey guy. I like whiskey, so uh, this this is kind of like a little excuse to have a whiskey at night, just to sort the throat out, um, which uh, hasn't actually worked. But uh, I'll continue trying that out. Uh, but yeah, it's um, you know, you often see people talking about freelance and web development and all that stuff on YouTube, and they're all happy and smiley, and you know everything's going fine. They don't sort of talk about it when you you're feeling like a snot rag. Um, so I thought that I would use this as an opportunity to, <laughs> to do a video on it. Um, uh, but yeah, I wanted to do I wanted to do an announcement today um, on on a course that I'm doing, but I'm gonna have to leave that until later on because I'm really not in any kind of frame of mind to uh, to do that. Plus I have a very busy day today, uh, and <clears throat> this this uh, this cold. Um, is, is just not going to help me out today. But uh, anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. And if you are feeling ill, then get better soon. Cheers. Bye.